Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to be comparing three crossguard lightsabers from three different companies. Ever since I made my I Became Kylo Ren video, by the way, if you want to see that or any lightsaber video, it's in the playlist in the comment section pinned at the top. I have a bunch of videos, man. Feel free to check them out after this. But since I made that video, I've been asked a lot of questions. Where did I get that saber from? And what my other crossguard sabers? What do I recommend? Blah, blah, blah. I have three. I'm not an expert, but I am kind of obsessed with Kylo Ren. So let's have a talk about it. I'm going to be going through each one individually. And then towards the end of the video, I will be doing sound comparisons and brightness comparisons. So you guys can make up your own mind which one you want to get. I'm going through everything, man. Price, delivery speed, everything. There's pretty much things I love and hate with every single saber, some more than others. This is the Ren Crossguard from Vader's Vault. As you can see, it is heavily inspired by Kylo Ren. I'd say accuracy wise, it's about 85% there in terms of how Kylo Ren's saber looks like. It's quite heavy, I'm not gonna lie. It's a little bit chunky, but compared to like a Disney saber, it's definitely on the slim side. I got this from Vader's Vault and uh, price of delivery is by far the worst one. This cost me 1,300 US dollars and it took 13 months to arrive, basically $100 a month, except I didn't pay it that way. I paid it in full, all right? Really broke my heart. First of all, I will go over the things I do like and then the things I don't like. First of all, I like that is a Kylo Ren lightsaber. Like, if you know Kylo Ren or how his saber looks like, you're gonna know this is Kylo Ren's saber. The weathering's actually pretty good. It's heavy, but it's not like overly heavy. Again, compared to like an Ultra Saber or maybe the Disney Sabers, it's lighter than them, but it's still the heaviest custom lightsaber that I own. I've got like 15 ish sabers now and this is definitely the heaviest one by far it's also running cfx which is my preferred soundboard i've got like 40 sound foots on here now it's kind of wicked like i can put so many on there in literally five ten minutes it is done it also has bluetooth so i don't even need to connect it to the computer i could do it all wirelessly and it's it's pretty fast man i can't lie the bluetooth is pretty cool however there are a lot of things uh, that i dislike first of all it's way too expensive, man. For the amount of money, I think it's actually outrageous for what you get. And by the way, I'm allowed to sell this stuff because I paid for it. I bought them. They're, they're not sponsored or anything. I'm going to be extremely honest with you guys, man. So you can make your own mind up like where you want to spend your money. This is overly priced and 13 months is outrageous. Also this, I thought it was cool at the time. So like this opens up. And the batteries in here, this little like string things, I can pop the battery in and out really quick if I'm going to like conventions and stuff. However, but this is also uh, not that great. Uh, you can't do spins with this. I've tried and luckily it landed on my bed because I'd done a spin with it and this opened up and the saber flew out my hand. If that was on concrete, this could be game over. I'll be fair to Vader's Vault when I bought this, it said on the site in big red writing, this is a shelf queen or for cosplay only, do not duel with this. Don't do spins, don't do anything, because it can break very, very easily. The longer I have it, I'm finding a lot of like little issues with it. This here is the main power button. It actually does get stuck every once in a while, which is really, really annoying. I have to actually get pliers and twist it. It's like the more you push it, it like kind of twists inside. Really hard to describe unless you own one, but eventually you've got to like untwist it or it gets stuck and basically it will not turn off. Obviously it has CFX, so it's got deep sleep mode, which is pretty sick. Like I can just turn this on and off and you're good to go. I don't need to worry about opening it up and taking the battery out or anything like that. That is really, really nice. Also the side blades, they are very tight in here, man. Like this probably needs to be sanded down a little bit and not the blades because I have so many side blades now and none of them fit in here flush. Like it is so annoyingly tight. I actually need gloves to take them off. I'm being real, man. It is really, really annoying. Uh, it's the metal needs to be grinded down. Also, there's only pins in here. So when I turn the saber on, there's no lights or anything like that. It's a little bit, it's a little bit dead. But overall, it's a cool saber, but it's very, very overly priced. Took way too long to arrive. And now let's move on to the next one. This is the cross guard made by Saber Trio. It is black with weathering. It is profi. And it's pretty awesome, man. I can't lie. In terms of like thinness, this is the thinnest uh, cross guard hilt I own of these three by far. It's also the lightest one. I really, really like the design. It's got this kind of like weathered futuristic look that Saber Trio normally goes for. The pommel's amazing. Overall, I think aesthetic wise, it looks amazing. Now this is just a cross guard. Obviously, technically every cross guard now is inspired by Kylo Ren, but this is not a Kylo Ren replica because it obviously looks nothing like it. For me, 
it's kind of a disadvantage because I want this to be a Kylo Ren cosplay hilt. Uh, but obviously I can't because I know a lot of people ain't going to notice, but I'm going to notice. This is obviously not Kylo Ren's lightsaber, so that is a bit of a downer. Also, it's Profi. Profi's fine, I guess. It's just not for me. The gesture controls are awesome when you have it with it, but this doesn't, man. This is very, very standard Profi. Uh, I'll be fair, navigating the menu on this saber is very, very easy. To be honest, Profi-wise, aside from the next saber... Uh, this is the easiest one I own. Of all of the five other Profi Sabres, this is the easiest one. Also, when you power it on without the blades, uh, this does light up, which is a nice touch. The blade plugs are pretty slick. Also has a kill key in here, so I just take the pommel out, give it a whack on the wrist, and there's a little switch I could turn it on and off. So that is awesome. Unlike other Profi Sabres where you just leave it and it's slowly dying of battery, or you have to go inside and actually take the battery out, at least it's a kill key or kill switch, so I don't have to worry about that. This also cost me 800 US dollars, and it arrived, well, actually, technically, it arrived in a week because this is a ready-to-ship event, but I have spoken to Saber Show, and this is the same as all their other lightsabers. If the store is open, you are waiting a maximum of 16 weeks, and, and that is it. And i got to be fair, value for money, if you don't care about it looking like Kylo Ren, this is the one. Undoubtedly the best one if you don't care about it looking like a replica. I mean, balance-wise, this is amazing. It's got a good weight to it. It's not too light. It's not too heavy. It's also very, very thin. You can do a bunch of spins and stuff, and it's going to be easy to control. And, of course, it comes with the Sabre Trio craftsmanship man inside is immaculate man like there's a reason why saber Trio is at the top of the mountain because all their sabers have a level of quality and this is no different it's awesome i can't lie if this was cfx this could be like one of my favorite ever i'm just being honest Profi's awesome if you know how to do all the stuff around it. I personally don't. That's its only like major downfall and the fact that it is not a Kylo Ren replica. And the third and final cross guard is from KR Sabres. Now this has been bought from KR Sabres empty because they only sell empty hilts currently. It was weathered by Proplicaia and fully installed by Starlight Sabres. As you can tell it is a full Kylo Ren replica. I bought this directly from Starlight Sabres. Big up you, my guy. Uh, just an awesome guy in the community. I consider a really, really close friend. I paid basically $1,000 for this. Obviously, it was already pre-built. It arrived in like four days. However, I have spoken to Sebastian over at Starlight Sabres and I said hypothetically, if someone sent him this asking for an install and I said you were free, it's like two to four weeks. He's going to get it done very, very quick. In terms of visuals, how this looks compared to the actual movie, this is the most accurate one. It's got the proper heat bluing, just the damage. Everything about this is how it looks like in the movie, which for me, as a fanboy, I am loving it. Also, the main blade and the side blades do light up when the blade's not in, so that is a really, really nice touch. However, this is kind of weird. I didn't know how I felt about this until I actually bought it. This has Profi, which is not my favourite, if I'm being honest. It does come with a kill key inside, so I can just open it up, flick the button. The battery's not going to be drained. However, if you saw the I Became Kylo Ren video, you'll know uh, this has gesture control. So if I stab the saber down... <coughs> That easy. And then twist the bad boy to turn it off. It is so... It just makes me feel so excited, man. Truly, the gesture control while you're dressed as Kylo Ren, you can't see much. And you're wearing gloves, so you can't really feel the buttons. Honestly, the stab on and the twist off, it's goaded, mate. I, I can't say anything bad about Profi. Just for that, it is absolutely on another level, man. Obviously, Starlight Sabres had this pre-set up, so I don't have to worry about anything. So it's definitely thinner and lighter by a lot from the Vader's Vault. But it is a little bit chunkier than Saber Trio 1 and a little bit heavier. Now I'm going to power up all three Sabres separately and bring it up close to the mic so you can hear the sound difference.
we're going to test the brightness and the colours and all that stuff, man. You guys at home can make your own mind up what you think looks the best. <laughs> actually really hard to show you guys a difference with brightness with a camera if I'm being honest in person uh, the chaos saber one looks the best and I'd say the saber trio is very very close behind I think that's just like the nature of Profi is actually speaking to Starlight Sabers about this a few weeks ago I don't know how else to say it Profi just looks better especially in an unstable blade Vader's Vault does look okay 
but compared to the other two, it's a massive, massive step down. However, at the end of the day, it's up to you guys, man, what one you want. For me, I like my final statement for this video, hopefully it's not too long. If you're still here, big up you guys, man, I appreciate it. I'm allowed to be like totally unbiased because I own all three of them. I can say whatever I want, mate. The Vader's Vault one, it took too long. It doesn't look as good as the KR one. It is way too much money. Uh, the CFX is lovely when it's not unstable blade, which is the whole point of having a Kylo Saber. And that magnet thing is really, really bad, man. Not to mention a few of the other bugs. I'm just keeping it real, bro. So the way I see it, it really comes down to the final two, and it's the Saber Tro and the KR Saber. It depends what you want, man. For me, I want the best looking Kylo Ren lightsaber, because I'm about the life of Kylo, bro. I'm just obsessed with him, and I'm doing cosplays of him, of course. So for me, the KR one for the money and the install quality that Starlight's done, it's a no-brainer. It's an absolute no-brainer. However, if you want a cross guard, but you don't really care if it looks like Kylo Ren's, I think Saber Cho is at the top of the list. Genuinely, man. It's a little bit less expensive, obviously, as well. $850 or $800-ish dollars. I actually think is a really, really good price. But again, it does depend on what you want. If you want a Kylo Saber, in my opinion, KR Sabers is the way to go, man. And I obviously am going to say get it installed by Starlight Sabers, man, because the job he's done is unreal. You can't beat, man. The Profi stab on, stab off, the twist feature, the visuals, man, properly catered on the weathering. It looks too good, mate. But if you do just want a cross guard, you don't really give it F. If it looks like Kylo Ren, I think Saber Show is the definite next step, man. Ladies and gentlemen, I hope this video somehow has helped someone. If you're, again, if you're still here, I appreciate you guys. Any questions, chuck them in the comment section. I will try my best to answer it. But thank you all so much for watching. Peace.